Hi, welcome to Kaijo Tutorials. Hi, my name is Kaijo. Today we are continuing the simple inventory series. We are in part two. In part one, we looked at the software that we'll be using to create the mockups. We had used Sketch, but there's at least two or more alternatives that you can use, especially for Windows, such as Adobe XD. Or you can use Framer because Sketch is for Mac OS only. In the also in the first part of the series, we had created the baseline for the mockups for the simple inventory system, in particular the web design, the web portion of it. Um, we created the, the we created the items listing screen to show all the inventory items that that is inside of inventory. Now in this this part of the series, part two, we are going to take it a step further. So what we'll do in this sec this section is that we'll create the screen that is will allow us to create new items inside of inventory, as well as pop-ups to create the brands, locations, and categories, as well as listing screens to show all the brands, location, and categories as well. Please join me in this journey. Please like and subscribe and let's begin on part two. Thank you. So let's continue. So what we're going to do now is create the screen necessary to create new inventory items. So this will consist of a area to upload images with a button to upload images from your device. Once you upload the device, we'll preview that image inside of the placeholder image, as well as we'll need a field to store the image name, as well as the barcode. In the mobile edition version of this system, what we'll do, we'll use a camera to scan the barcode to automatically add the item to the inventory. We'll also need a category of item that will be inside the inventory. So example, if it's a type of, um, let's say a type of food material or if it's some construction material or something. For location, that could be example, say the person has um, multiple inventory locations, so site A, site B, that's what would be stored inside of location. Values for the category and location would need to be added via a pop-up, which will be created later on in this video. So we are duplicating two of the fields to reduce the time it may take to create a new set of fields and we'll be storing in this new set of fields the price per unit as well as the quantity that that it currently exists inside of the inventory at any given time. Next, what we'll need, we'll need a button, series of buttons on the inventory or the items management screen. So these buttons will be quick toggles to be able to navigate to the different screens to add a new item, add a new brand, add a new category and location as well. So we, it could be placed anywhere, but since the items uh, management screen will act as the main screen of the application. I, I thought it would be best to just put it there beside the search button so that it's easy to find once you're on that screen. It's always advisable to rename your your set of groups so that it can be easily um, replicated and organized. 
so we're calling this one add item um, it's a good idea to color code the buttons that create that is used to create a positive impression or something positive so um, green usually signifies success so it's easy for the user to find where that button is to get to um, exit and submit um, the inventory inventory item a next button that would be good to put in it's optional but it's a good idea back on that screen would be a cancel button and also on the pop-ups that I'm now creating so what we are doing um, we are creating the pop-ups so instead of placing it on the in the other screen which had the item creation I chose to place it on its own dedicated screen and what what we'll do is have a number of them for the brand categories and location since there's not also attributes that we'll be storing in this simple inventory system I thought it best to just show all of them in one place um, also as I said it's a good idea to add a cancel button in case some uh, in case the user decides to change their mind I mean I didn't put it here but it's a good little suggestion that could be done and would use red to see for that one to signify that it's not a good thing to cancel so now that we have created a template we'll just replicate it for categories then um, then once we have done that we can replicate it again for location So what I'm doing is grouping, grouping the different um, controls within that con that container, so that it's easy to duplicate that um, set of controls. So that would be con Command C to copy, Command V to paste, and use the arrow keys to move the item. Of course, after you have either grouped the set of um, controls or um, you have selected all of the controls so now we have just duplicated the main screen and we are going to use it to show the other listing screens now the other listing screens don't require as much information as such we are removing all an unnecessary set of information that is there of course when building your own version of this simple inventory, feel free to add more attributes. But to keep this um, tutorial series, as the name suggests, simple, it is I'm only using the bare minimum. So what I'm trying to do now is just to separate the top, the top of the list or the table, to signify that that is the header. and aligning the items so that it looks pleasing to the eye. And again we have duplicated the control and what I have done is just copy in the interest of time copy the names of the different brands and place it over into this screen but what is happening is that the layers is appearing under the the um, cards so what I'm doing is grouping them so that it's easy to track it cart back there and then I bring the controls for the label controls forward so that all of the controls show up above the cards and then just um, clean up the design by aligning them inside of the cards using the alignment tool on the top right hand side
and also don't forget to put the pagination controls at the bottom and align them below the list. So now that we are mostly finished with the mock-ups, as I said in the first version, the first part of this video, um, I'll be only creating the mock-ups for the web because the mobile will just be a scaled down version of this. So I thought it would be unnecessary to replicate the same thing within a mobile size. The next part of this video um, tutorial series will be where we will create a database in SQL for this um, inventory system. Then the next video after that we'll use Node.js and SQLize to create the web API for it. Then following that we'll create a web interface using Vue.js. And beyond that, we'll create the iOS, then the Kotlin, or for the Android. Please like and subscribe.